Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We were perplexed when Hope began fantasizing about the father who had used his son to attempt to lure her into bed, then kept her from her own daughter on The Bold and the Beautiful. Maybe we're in for a split personality scenario, we reasoned. Perhaps being raised by Passion's toy, Brooke has destroyed Hope's head in ways that even she didn't realize until now. Then it became clear that this was not being played as a love story. Hope had fallen for Thomas, since his affections belonged to her and only her, having grown tired of Waffles, McWaffles and Liam. Hope wouldn't have to worry about Steffi being a rival because she's his sister. However, this has not shown to be the case. Surprising, surprising, surprising. Thomas is ready to declare his feelings for Hope, but she simply says, A. She is there for the passion flicks moments, not the hallmark ones. That, in and of itself, is a stunning shift for the soap, which is frequently scripted in the 1950s. For the sake of a child, parents should be together. Even if the youngster is 30 years old, people in relationships should marry right away, Make a reservation for living room. Hope isn't looking for love, she's looking for lovemaking. When we frame it like that, it seems stupid, but the truth is that a sex-positive plot would be a total game-changer for bold and beautiful. It would be an admission that yes, sometimes people are just rude. We can be physically attracted to someone without being emotionally attracted to them. Our bodies can desire things that our emotions do not. The opera could use such a twist for a lot of storylines too, considering its outdated morality. Imagine Brooke, called the slut from Valley, gripping her pearls in disbelief over her daughter's sexual affair, and Hope's reply. But it can't just be sex, 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 honey. What about fate? I have no idea what my ultimate destiny is, Mom, but my destiny for tonight is at the gym right now, making sure that he's up to the task of being my jungle gym. Thomas' feelings for Hope could still be played. It's possible he's crossing his fingers that she'll fall as hard for him as he has for her. In the meantime, regular nookie with the object of one's fixation affections isn't half terrible as a consolation prize. The one difficulty we have with this development is Hope's insistence that she has lost herself and no longer knows who she is, as if desire is such a foreign idea, but the program can simply fix that by having her realize that she grew up believing that one should lead with her heart, not, oh, other body parts. In the end, she may learn that she isn't simply sweetness and light, but also a little dirty, and that's okay. People aren't one thing, at least not if they're honest with themselves. Whether you like it or not, historical rewrites are an unavoidable aspect of everyday life, Soap operas will occasionally travel back in time and rewrite what happened, or add fresh reveals that utterly append what we recall. Sometimes it works, and other times, as the bold and the beautiful appears to have done recently, it leaves us scratching our heads. On the Tuesday, August 22 episode, Hope was discussing her reasons for ending her relationship with Thomas, and mentioned how she'd been duped into believing Beth had died when, in fact, she'd been handed to Steffi to raise his fee. Hope tells Thomas that Liam reminded me of all the pain and suffering that we had to endure during those years when we thought we were about to lose her. He also reminded me that you were withholding that truth from me, and gosh, it would be a pain to be reminded of, except Beth hadn't been missing for years, it had not even been a year. For another, Hope and the show appear to be portraying Thomas as being to blame for the whole incident, despite the fact that he was one of the last to discover Beth was with Steffi. Flo, on the other hand, knew about the baby switch from the start and didn't say anything, but no one seemed to mind. Or so we believe. Nobody has seen her in years. This includes her alleged fiancé. Isn't it true that what's out of sight, out of mind? Beth was still a baby when she was reunited with her biological parents. With that said, the program did SORAS, Soap Opera Rapid Aging Syndrome, her, huh. so if they want to change the timing of what happened, now is the time. 
However, people on the Soaps.com message boards observed the change as well, and some speculated that it was a mistake rather than a deliberate retcon, because, as Lynn 1216 observed, they change history a lot, but I think in this case it was really just an accident by the writers. They flashed flashbacks of the tale throughout the scenes where this was uttered, and Beth was a baby in all of them. And in that scenario, the show has no means of getting past the fact that she was only gone for months, not years. Even more fans, however, have been criticizing the transfer in months for years as a rewrite of history that would allow Bold and Beautiful to justify ending Fope and rejoining Lope. It was eight months with Thomas only knowing about it for the last month or so, Kendall always observed. But Lope's inability to tell time comes as no surprise to me. To share. For better or worse, it appears that Hope and Thomas are done for the time being. And whether on purpose or not, bold and beautiful has altered history. But then again, who knows? Fope may reunite again someday, and history may always be rewritten. Beth was only a baby four years ago, but she recently celebrated her seventh birthday, as you can see in our birthday bash. Which man will Hope choose in the latest The Bold and the Beautiful preview for August 28, September 1? Continue reading and watch the video peek below. Liam pushed Hope to remember all the anguish Thomas had caused them, especially holding the secret that Beth was alive and living with Steffi when they thought they had lost her. He thought Hope had lost herself, and Brooks subsequently persuaded Hope not to forget what Thomas had done to her and Liam, even if he had improved, and she pleaded with her daughter to fight for her marriage. Steffi quizzed Liam on whether he could ever forgive Hope, but he appeared more concerned with how he could have ever walked away from Steffi. Meanwhile, Thomas assured Hope that he loved her, and that if she wanted to be with Liam, he would liberate her. Hope faced Liam and asked if they could work things out, but Liam claimed his feelings were complicated right now and that he could never forgive or forget what she had done to Thomas. Brooke tells Hope that she is shocked that Liam will not forgive her. Hope worries that he would never be able to recover from what occurred with Thomas and declares that her marriage is gone. Meanwhile, Thomas confronts Liam, calling him an idiot and warning him that he will regret leaving Hope. Thomas later requests that Hope allow him to love her as no one else can. Will Hope ever be able to let go of Liam? And will Steffi reclaim Liam or work on her marriage to Finn? Read the spoilers for Bold and Beautiful to find out who Eric wants to keep a secret. Before you go, have a look at the gallery of soap stars we've seen grow up before our eyes. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.